Hello friends, in this video, we are discussing about systems of echometric survey and stadia formula. So what are the different systems of echometric survey? There are two main systems that is Fixer method and second is movable hair method or also known as substance method. In which first is movable hair method. Now, what is movable hair method? In movable hair method, we have a echometer which is set up with a diaphragm in which we have three hairs out of which. We can move the upper hair, bottom hair, so that we can bisect the already fixed target on your lever bar. For example, we have a lever bar in which two targets are set up at two meter interval. So, by using movable hair method, we have to Bisect the leveling rod set up at station A with six targets at two meter apart, and by using the movable layers, we have to coincide the upper hair with the upper target and lower hair with the lower target so that. Both the hairs are bisecting upper and lower target at the same time. This method is known as movable hair method, in which we use a lever rod with fixed targets and we have to adjust the hairs according to the target placed at the target rod, or we can known as leveling rod. In second method, that is fixer method. In fixer method, there are three cases. First case, when line of sight is horizontal and staff is at vertical. In this case, the diagram fitted with three crosshairs having fixed position. The distance between middle and top hair and middle and lower hair is fixed and it is same. So, by using a tachometer fitted with six hairs, we have to bisect the ranging rod, the distance between which we have to calculate, and the rod is held vertically. So, by using six hair. We have to bisect the rod and find out upper, middle, and lower reading. So we calculate three readings: upper, middle, and lower reading. By finding out this reading, we apply a simple formula that is horizontal distance d is equal to f upon i s plus f plus c, where f upon i is multiplying constant and f plus c is additive constant. S is known as staff intersect. That is the difference between upper hair and lower hair. The reading of upper hair and lower hair. That is your S. So by using this formula, we can find out horizontal distance D between station point and staff point. This is case one. And the line of sight is horizontal and staff is held vertical. Moving on to the second case, when the line of sight is inclined and staff is held vertical. And in this case, line of sight is inclined and angle of elevation we are considering as positive, as you can see in this figure. So, in this figure, we have set up the instrument at station O and the rod at 
thing but theta is positive because the ground is elevated so notifications are very important from here made hair to the ground is known as small h from mid hair to the line of axis which is also known as instrument axis that is v vertical distance and the staff intersect between upper and lower hair is s so by using this formula we have to calculate the distance d and v for which we have a formula horizontal distance d is equal to f upon i s cos square theta plus f plus v cos theta where f upon i is multiplying constant s is staff intercept and theta is angle f plus v is added constant same way we can find out v v is equal to again f upon i s sin 2 theta upon 2 plus f plus c sin theta so by using these two formulas we can calculate horizontal distance and vertical distance and by knowing vertical distance we can calculate the rl of point e also now in third case we have line of sight inclined as staff is held vertical but in this case angle of depression is there in second case we have elevation here we have depression the formulas to calculate d and v are same as we have seen in previous case just over here as you can see the line of sight is above your point so to the middle point to the line of sight is known as v and from your middle reading to the ground that is small h which is also known as actual reading the formulas for d and v are same as we are discussed in case 2 moving on to the next method that is tangential method in tangential method we don't use area here leveling staff with when or tangent are known distance are set up horizontal and vertical distance are measured by measuring the angles of elevation or depression some cases are discussed as follows so there are two methods as we have seen that is with hair and second is tangential method in tangential method first case is both the angles of target are angle of elevation so in this method we have fixed targets at your leveling rod and we have to bisect and calculate the angles that can be angle of elevation or angle of depression and all the notifications are given here so in this figure as we can see we have two targets a and b so we have o dash as your instrument axis o is your instrument station c1 over here as we can see is your staff station v as we know v is a vertical distance between the lower web lower target and the axis of instrument and s is a distance between the targets distance between two targets is known as s then we have theta 1 vertical angle of upper target theta 2 vertical angle of lower target and h is the height of lower when above the staff this distance is known as h this much so by using this formula that is given below v plus s v plus vertical distance plus your s is nothing but d tan theta 1 by using simple trigonometry we can find out this it means what v is equal to d tan theta 2 so by simplifying it we can find out the formula for d that is s upon tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 and for v if we put value of d over here then that will be s tan theta 2 upon tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 
RL of V1 can be calculated from RL of instrument axis. So we are standing at RL of instrument axis plus V minus H. Then give you RL of C1. In first case, both the angles are in elevation. Now we have both the angles in depression. So next case, you can say case 2, both the angles are in depression. The modifications are same, just as you can see over here, both the angles are in depression. So V is what vertical distance from the lower vane up to the angle of axis. S is your distance between two targets and H is distance between lower target and the ground. Then we have the formula. In this case, by using simple trigonometry, that V is equal to what? D minus tan theta 2. And V minus S, if we calculate, that will be D tan theta 1. So by using this formula, we have to simplify it. And again, we come to the conclusion of formula of D and V. We have to remember this formula to calculate horizontal and vertical distances. By knowing vertical distance, we can find out RL of any point. So as we are going down because of depression, so RL of A will be RL of instrument axis minus V minus H as we are going down. In next case, where one angle is in elevation and one is in depression. All the notifications are same. As over here, you can see one angle is in elevation and one is in depression. So by using this formula, again, okay, we have to calculate RL of point C. Formula will differ a bit in which we have V is equal to D tan theta 2 and S minus V is equal to D tan theta 1. So we can conclude the formula of D and V from above figure. So just you have to use the figure and simple trigonometry we have to use. So by using only the angle of elevation or depression, we can calculate the horizontal distance as well as vertical distance and then RL of any spatial point. So in this video, we have discussed about what are the different methods of trigonometry and how to calculate horizontal and vertical distance. Thank you.